Welcome back to the Universe of Power. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe for all things within the Power Universe. Finally, we are here to the end of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. In today's video, I will break down what I believe could be Tariq and Brayden's next move. I will also add more pieces to the Effie and Noma puzzle. Along with giving my predictions for Season 4 of Power Book 2 Ghost. Without further ado, here we go. Season 3 has been filled with betrayals, plot twists, and new relationships formed. While the majority of the predictions I made at the beginning of the season came true, there are a few predictions for the finale that did not. We did actually see Lauren flip on Jenny Sullivan and not snitch on Effie and Tariq like I predicted she wouldn't. Councilman Tate did actually win the election to become governor, and we did see Tommy make an appearance. My predictions about Kane and Drew being taken out did not come true in the finale, but I will speak more on that later. We finally see the new side of Brayden that we have been waiting for. When Kane was about to pull the trigger on Tariq, we saw Brayden come in with guns blazing to save him. I believe that one of the bullets did hit Kane, but I don't think that it is anything life-threatening. Tariq knows that a war is on the horizon, and he also remembers what Tommy told him about needing more allies to go to war. I will go more into detail later in the video when I give my predictions for next season. Now to the moment I have been waiting for. Ever since episodes 9 and 10 leaked a few weeks back there have been numerous comments from many people about Effie not being Noma's daughter. Some were trolls with fake accounts who really just wanted to spoil the episodes for people who didn't see them yet. And others were actually people who legitimately believe that Effie is not Noma's daughter based off of what they saw in the finale. After watching the final episode in season 3, I believe even more now that Effie is in fact Noma's daughter. Ever since Effie first appeared on screen in power she has been untruthful with Tariq on a number of occasions. She says that she's trying to save up her money to get out of the street life, but my question is where has all of her money gone? Yes, she is hustling, but she is not a kingpin. She has transferred to three different very expensive schools, and surely she's not making that much money to the point that she can be able to afford to do that. Then suddenly this season she's running behind on payments at Stansfield. It makes you think where was the money coming from when she attended the previous schools. I believe it was Noma funding her schooling in exchange for moving product through campus originally. I think that it could be possible that Noma gave up Effie for adoption to satisfy her husband at the time, but I believe that it could be possible Effie and Noma worked things out a while back. And once Effie came across Tariq at Choate and saw how he bounced back after she snitched on him, I believe that Effie realized that Tariq was much smarter than she originally thought. And once she relayed this information to Noma, I believe that Noma wanted Effie to continue to keep an eye on Tariq based off of the simple fact that he's a future threat to her enterprise. The only reason Noma has not attempted to take out Tariq is because she knows he is valuable, which is why she had him move product for her. That way she could keep an eye out on him and also make money off of him. Yes, I'm aware that Noma saw Tariq on the video footage the night Mecca was killed. I am also aware that Noma has people watching Tariq. But I believe Noma was more shocked than anything when she saw Tariq on camera at Mecca's penthouse because he is the same person that Effie has been keeping tabs on. Just look at all of the times when Effie wants to manipulate Tariq. She always goes back to giving a struggle story about her mother. For example, when Tariq was about to kill Effie for lying about what happened to Lauren, he asks her is there anything that she wanted to tell him. Effie then goes into this story about her mother having multiple guys in and out of her house and then one of the guys ended up trying something with her. Who she ended up marrying. Which could have been Lombardi, not Mecca. I will stand on Mecca being Effie's father. They both have some of the same mannerisms if you really notice. If we go back to when Obi met up with Kane, Tariq, Brayden, and Effie to give them product, Obi threatens everyone by showing them pictures of the people they love. If you noticed he didn't really threaten Effie. He only tells her if they mess up they all die. I find that odd. I find it even more odd that Obi referred to Effie as Orphan Annie. That was an automatic giveaway if you ask me. 
Not to mention Noma told Monet if she had kids she would keep them far away from the street life. That's another red flag. Why would she speak as if she doesn't have a child when she does? This is very similar to how Effie lies about her life. But the biggest giveaway in my opinion was in episode 9 when Monet told Noma that Effie had been arrested. If you don't remember this scene, I suggest you go back and check it out. When Monet told Noma that Effie was locked up, Noma immediately turned and looked at Obi. In my opinion, this is the biggest confirmation we have gotten so far. Just take a look at when Effie was in jail. Once Tariq told Effie that he could get her out in exchange for information about Noma's daughter, Effie suddenly has updated information and we see her tell Tariq that Noma's daughter is their age and that she lives in New York and that she also attends NYU. I believe that this was completely false info given to Tariq simply to get what she wants and to throw off Tariq from finding the truth about Noma being her mother. Anyone can find a random picture of someone and call them their daughter. Without proof it really isn't valid. We never saw Effie actually locate Noma's supposed daughter. In the finale we see Tariq threaten Noma by telling her he has eyes on her daughter. Effie then steps in to tell Tariq that she already told Noma. We then see Noma tell Tariq she already had her daughter removed to safety. Now many people may say that this completely debunks the theory of Effie being her daughter, but I believe that it does the complete opposite. It gives even more confirmation to the theory. When Tariq said that he had eyes on her daughter, I believe that he was only trying to scare Noma, but in reality he never had anyone watching her. Noma also tells Tariq, perhaps you have flown too close to the sun. I believe that statement from Noma was another huge underlying clue. And why would Noma stop Kane from shooting Tariq if she already knew that her supposed daughter was already taken to safety? These are all chess moves made by Effie and Noma. Until we actually see the girl portrayed in the picture, I will stand on Effie being Noma's daughter. There have been too many things that have been dead giveaways. I believe that the name Anya Covington is either a made-up name or Effie's actual real name. Yes, I am aware that Effie's legal name is Josefina Morales, but it's not that hard to legally change your name. When it comes to Kiki, I still really don't think that she could be Noma's daughter. In the comments section of my previous video, there was someone who had the best theory for Kiki being Noma's daughter that I have seen so far. I wouldn't completely rule it out, but based off of everything that I just explained, I really think that everything is pointing to Effie being the girl in the picture. Now let's get into my predictions for next season. Season 4 is shaping up to be the best season following one of the best finales in the history of Power. I think the final episode of Season 2 Power Book Force will tie into the beginning of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. I think we will see next season starting off with Tariq and Brayden heading to Chicago to tell him about the war that he just started. I think Tariq and Brayden will try to convince Tommy to help them go up against Noma, but I think Tommy will still give Tariq the same pushback that he did when Tariq asked him before. It could be possible that Tommy gets too bit to assist Tariq and Brayden. I could see Tommy paying the rest of Tariq's debt that he owes 2-Bit, and in return I think 2-Bit will make an attempt to back up Tariq and Brayden to help go against Noma. But once 2-Bit realizes what they're going up against, I think he will leave them high and dry. I wouldn't be surprised if 2-Bit gets mistaken for Tariq while driving his car. Maybe this is when we see him and Kane have a showdown. I think Tariq will end up having Tasha convince Tommy to help out in the war against Noma. Monet will be recovering in the beginning of Season 4. This is when we will probably be introduced to Detective Don Carter, who will be played by actor Michael Ely. I think Detective Don Carter will ask Monet questions about who shot her, and of course she won't end up telling him anything. But I think they will have some kind of connection during their interaction. I think Diana will flip on Drew and tell Monet that Drew forced her to have Tariq kill her. Diana will tell Monet that Tariq didn't pull the trigger. Once Monet gets back to full health, I think that she will also help Tariq and come up with a plan to take Noma and Effie out. As we saw in Diana and Monet's last conversation before she was shot, Monet tells Diana she loves her. 
We then see Diana make an attempt to get Monet back in the house, but it was too late. I think Diana and Monet's relationship can and will be repaired next season. It's quite obvious that Diana didn't agree with Drew's plan to set Tariq up, but she had no other choice. Diana and Tariq's relationship will also be repaired next season. Other characters have made up after far worse happening in the past. Whenever Tariq and Diana are on screen their chemistry differs from Effie and Lauren. Their connection seems more organic. For the people that say this wouldn't make sense for Tariq to forgive her, I can give many examples of things that haven't made sense in the show. Like how did Diana know where Tommy's mother lived? And how did Sax know where to locate 2-Bit? When it comes to Noma, I think that she already knows that Monet killed Mecca. Keep in mind when she asked Monet what happened to Mecca we never saw if Monet confessed or not. The scene immediately cuts away. When they come back on screen we only hear Noma ask her if she loved Mecca. She also asked about Zeke. I think next season we will see Noma tell Monet that she knows that she killed Mecca. I think Noma will 100% kill Obi next season once she finds out that he was working with Tariq behind her back. I think we might see the last of Councilman Tate next season. There might be people coming after Tate in season 4 after taking down Weston Holdings. I am pretty sure that there are a lot of powerful people that invested their money with Weston Holdings and I expect someone to target Councilman Tate next season. I think we will learn even more about Attorney Davis McLean in Season 4. With the running joke being that Tariq can't fight, I think it would make sense for Davis McLean to give him some boxing lessons. Since Davis McLean is such a boxing fanatic, it would only make sense. When it comes down to next season, I think we will see Noma, Effie, Kane, and Drew on one side. And Tariq, Brayden, Tommy, Tasha, Diana, and Monet on the other side. I expect Tariq's side to come out on top next season, but I also feel like if they do kill Noma, we will see whoever she's working for come for vengeance. I think we won't see the reveal of Effie being Noma's daughter until mid-season. I am curious to see how class will go next season with everyone on different sides. I will stay with my prediction of Drew and Effie being taken out next season, but as far as Kane is concerned, I see him surviving until season 5. I think Kane is the Kanan to Tariq and Brayden. I see a lot of similarities between Kane and Kanan. I expect to learn more about RSJ's backstory as well and possibly what his connection to Ghost is. If there is one. This season ended with a bang. Literally. I expect next season to be even more fireworks with new characters introduced and more plot twists that we don't see coming. Please tune into my next video where I break down what possibly could have been on the storage drive that Cooper Sacks left for Angela's nephew. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for all things within the Power Universe. See you all next time in the Universe of Power.